I take back everything I said. Ashley Maynard Brewer, best goalkeeper on earth. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Addicts to Victory here. And as you can see by the league table, things have been going really, really well. Showing you our schedule of results thus far. Last time we left off with that nil-nil draw with Blackburn on the opening day of the season. And since then, it's it's been really good. We beat MK Dons 1-0 in the Carabao Cup. Judson Sutbell getting the goal there. Ryan Manning got a red card, disappointingly. What are you going to do? And then a nil-nil draw against Fulham in the league. Was really happy with that. Another with two games with them, Carabao Cup last season, and this game here, both of them ending in draws, so doing well against Fulham. And then a 1 0 win against Preston, since the Belder goal. 3 1 win over Wimbledon in the Carabao Cup second round, two from Stockley, one from Webster. And then in the league, 1 0 win against Norwich, another goal in the third minute, this time Leon Balogun. We seem to be scoring a lot of goals very early on. A, a 2 0 loss to Middlesbrough, a bit disappointing, but you know, what are you going to do? Uh, but thankfully we followed it up against Cardiff with a 2-0 win, an early goal for Sunset Bill in the 5th minute, and then a late goal for him, from him in the 90th minute. Meaning, as things stand, we are currently 5th in the table on 11 points. Things are looking beautiful, and the big standout so far is Ashley Maynard Brewer. Currently, in, and the big standout so far is this man, Ashley Maynard Brewer, the 23-year-old Australian goalie, 6 league appearances, Two goals conceded, five clean sheets. It's, it's amazing. I'm going to claim selling all my experienced goalkeepers like McGilvery and that in the summer as a tactical masterclass now because Maynard Brewer, he's got it, you know. He's he's very clearly got it. Six league games in the championship and five clean sheets. You can't ask for more, really. And that leads us into today's episode with two tough games in store. First up against Hull City, currently ninth in the table. Then I'll play through this Carabao Cup third round tight against Crawley. Uh, which, you know, because we should be able to win this. Crawley currently 20th in League 2. One point above relegation to non-league. So I like to think we should be able to handle them. Uh, but then we will be back for a game against top spot Bournemouth. Bournemouth currently predicted to finish second just behind Norwich. Norwich... Who we defeated, really struggling. 20th in the league, not going well for them. Uh, but going well, very well for us, thankfully. And hopefully we can continue this very strong start to the season today with a result first up against Hull City. A couple changes to the squad since last time out. Not really player-wise, but in tactics-wise. The wide centre-backs are now on for Paul. I don't want them going too far forward against these teams and staying up there too much. Because, I mean, if they do, we're going to get overrun and we're going to concede goals and... I mean, we've changed to this, and as you can see, five clean sheets in six games, it's gone quite well. Uh, whilst Alex Gilby is currently playing on Carrillo, I don't know if he was on that last time out, but if he wasn't, I'll just mention that. Uh, the team playing really well at the moment. Sunset Bell having a great little run of form for us. Hopefully he can keep that up, and we can get a result today against Hull. Pachetta picking up a knock. Going to have to make a way here in just, after just under 20 minutes for Harvey Vale. Hopefully he won't be out for too long. He's been quite good so far this season. As Hull go forward, Colwell collecting it with ease, playing off to Ryan Manning. This defence in back three is so good this season. It's a big part of why we're keeping so many clean sheets, I say, as Dobson gives it away. But Moncourt hits wide from distance, thankfully, and the whole move does come to nothing. And nothing much of note happening in this first half. Only that one highlight to show for things as we hit half-time. Charlton... Not yet had a single shot. Uh, Hull having four, none on target though. A very dull and lifeless game. Hopefully it can pick up in the second half, however. Hull on the ball. Florini back to Purrington to Greaves. Greaves to Arthur. Florini out to Scott on the right-hand side. Scott taking it forward. Whips the ball in. And it is thankfully cleared by the Cholton defence. It looked like they might be able to get onto that. He's come to a whole city corner though. Hull City with the corner, Moncour whips the ball in and Greaves heads just wide at the near post. More tired legs out there in the 60th minute. I'm going to take off Sunset Bell for Stockley. And I'm also going to take off Webster for Jake Forster Caskey here. And Colwell gives the ball away to Smith way too easy there. To Florini, shot blocked, Scott. 
getting the ball, getting out to Coyle on the right-hand side for Hull here. Coyle taking the ball forward, whips it into the far post. Stanislas header, thankfully just over the bar. Poor from Colwell there to give the ball away. Hull with the free kick, Moncour. Whips it over the bar and into the net. Hull City have the lead here. Disappointing as Hull take the late score in the 80th minute here. And as things stand, we'll move above us in the league table. Farrington with the throw to Moncur. Moncur to Florini. Going for the over-the-top ball, but Vale is able to pick it up. Gets it to Manning. Manning out to Vale. Vale forward to Dahanda. Jan Dahanda back to Manning. Manning moving forward, though, on the right left-hand side. Forward ball. Vale can't get there. Cleared by Hull. Intercepted by Matthews, though. Who gives it to Dahanda. Back to Dobson. To Gilby. Dahanda. Yander hand over the top to Forster Kasky. Who tries to lob the goalie for some reason. Oh, Forster Kasky's got to do better there. Corner for Cholson. Yander Hander whips the ball in. Headed away, but Dobson collects. To Manning. Shot blocked. Dobson again, though, to the Hander. Back to Dobson. To Vale. Harvey Vale moving down the left. Gets it to Gilby. Back to Dobson. To Bolligan. Manning. To Dobson, forward to Stockley, to the hander. Harvey Vale on the left-hand side once more. Ball into the box, headed away. Matthews collects on the right, though. Back to Colwell, Colwell. And it comes to nothing. And added time ticking away here for the Addicts, and it looks like it will be defeat, and it is. Whole City 1, Shelton 0. Disappointing. I mean, looking at the stats, you can't say we deserved anything here, really. The team, not good enough on this occasion. Whole City... Getting the three points. Uh, Maynard Brewer conceding for the second game. Only the second time this season. Oh, I think we really missed Placetta when he had to go off there. Hopefully he's not out too long term because when we brought on Vale, <laughs> Vale just wasn't as effective, I thought. Placetta, he, he gets down that left-hand side. He has quite a bit of pace. He brings Manning into it as well because his pace drags the defence out. He can play it to Manning. And without him, just had a harder time things. He's only out for two to three days, though, thankfully. So he'll be okay for that Bournemouth game. Uh, but that is going to be it for the moment. I'm going to go forward now. I'm going to do the Carabao Cup tie against Crawley. Let you know how that goes. And come back for that tie with top spot Bournemouth. And as you can see in the Carabao Cup, we picked up a nice 2-0 win against Crawley. Another clean sheet. Goals from Sunset Bell and Deji Ella away. Again, a victory, nice and comfortable, and in the fourth round, we will be taking on Blackburn Rovers, the team we drew with on the opening day. So that could go either way. Hopefully, we can get a win against Blackburn there and progress to the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup for the second season in a row. But for now, the focus moves from the Cup back to the league, and it is a tough game in store in the league for us because we will be taking on Bournemouth, the favourites to win the league. A tough game. You know, squad-wise, looking good. Kirk coming into the cam roll. And a spot on the bench for this man, Matias Sanchez Moreno. 16-year-old Argentinian from our youth academy. It looks a very bright prospect. You know, his acceleration, pace, and finishing leave a lot to, a, to be desired for a man who claims he's a shadow striker. But we'll work on it. He's on the bench today. Could make his debut. Have to see how it goes, but for now... Let's get right into the game. There's a throw in here for Charlton. Placetta gets it to Kirk. Kirk whips it across and Jude Sunset Bell heads in. Five and a half minutes on the clock and we lead at Bournemouth. Great play from Charlton. Placetta's throw to Kirk. Kirk smashing the ball in and Jude Sunset Bell nodding at home. And we have the early lead here against Bournemouth. What a start here from, Addict, from the Addicts. Maynard Brewer, the goal kicked to Colwell. Colwell playing it forward. Intercepted though, we get it back and it's intercepted again. Lerma got it for Bournemouth to Christie to Mepham, Ampadu, Cook, Lerma, Solanke, Lerma going forward. Oh, and it's a brilliant save from Maynard Brewer. It's just to tip it over the bar, keep us ahead here. Out for the Bournemouth corner. Terrans whips it in, headed away well by Balogun. Free kick to Bournemouth. Terrans whips it in. And the referee's pointing to the spot. He's saying it's a foul by Yander Hander on Ampadu. It's a penalty to Bournemouth here. Disappointing from Dehanda. Taran steps up. And Maynard Brewer saves it. What a season Maynard Brewer having. Best goalie in the world. 
I say with only a slight amount of 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 of, um, faith, of lack of faith in my voice. What a penalty save to keep us ahead here from him. Terans with the ball for Bournemouth. Plays it back to Robinson. Forward to Terans. Moving forward. Whips it across to Rans and Christie headers against the post. Bournemouth so close yet again to taking, getting an equaliser here. And we're into added time in the first half here. Bournemouth have been bombarding us the entire 45 minutes. But the score remains. Bournemouth nil, Cholton one. Thanks to that Jude Sunset Bell goal. And very much thanks to that Ashley Maynard Brewer penalty save. What a performance so far, lads. Maynard Brewer, I'm not even waiting for full time. You're playing so well, mate. Keep it up. Keep it up, please. Only a little bit into the second half here, but some very, very tired players, especially both of our wingbacks, Matthews and Placetta. Placetta going to make way for Ryan Manning, whilst Matthews is going to make way. We don't really have a natural replacement uh, for Balligan, I guess. And then Balligan is going to make way for Sam Lavelle. Yeah. You know, those wingbacks... The wingback's very important. They need to be going forward to get those balls into Sunset Bell. So, you know, if if they're tired, they can't really do that. So just make that change. Some fresher legs, hopefully. Help us out keep with keeping this lead over Bournemouth here. Placetta with the throw to Dobson. Ball into the hand. Uh, smashes it over the bar. Placetta's last action and a half. Another throw in. Helping us come very, very close to doubling our lead. Due to St. Bell, quite tired here. So is Kirk, but I'm going to bring off Sunset Bell and I'm going to bring on Jaden Stockley up top. Something else for them to worry about. You know, the height and strength of Stockley. Float some crosses into him, hopefully. Might be able to take advantage of that. Corner to Bournemouth. Terans whips it in. And Solanke's shot is blocked and it's cleared away. By Charlton, Stockley holding up, getting it to Manning. Bournemouth getting right on it, back on it, though. Lerma to Sadalek. Here, yeah, the good def work from Charlton to win it back. Well, we give it away. Kelly to Sadalek to Rans. Sadalek, Robinson. Sadalek, Solanke, Kelly. Sadalek, Solanke to Rans. Frugal to Low, and he tucks it away. Poor, poor from Charlton there. Keep giving the ball away to Bournemouth. And eventually they're going to take advantage of it. Corner. Terans whips it in. And Jefferson Lerma heads in at the far post. And just like that. We are behind against Bournemouth. I mean. Bournemouth have had more of the ball. More of the chances. They should be ahead. But it's still disappointing to see. Kirk. Trying to get it to Stockley. Intercepted back to Travers in the Bournemouth net however. Travers. Out to Smith on the right-hand side. Smith to Lowe. Into Solanke. Back to Mepham. Forward again to Lowe. Lowe to Pearson. Lowe on the ball once more. Smith to Sadalek. Form of passing circles around us right now. Terans on the ball. Terans going forward. Terans just dribbles right through our defence and puts it in the bottom corner. This is so poor. So poor. I don't know where Sam Lavelle is. He just walked right through the middle of the defence where he's meant to be. As Bournemouth doubled their lead here. Disappointing. Corner for Charlton. Ryan Manning whips it in. Stockley's header. Across goal and into the net. Bournemouth 3, Charlton 2. And maybe, just maybe. But time is it's very late. Time is ticking on. I don't think we're going to be able to get anything here. Into the final minute of added time. That is going to be it by the look of it. And it is Bournemouth 3, Charlton 2. Disappointing result in the end. Our best player was Maynard Brewer, no doubt. Penalty save from him. But Bournemouth scored 3. We could only get 2. They get the win. Stat-wise, they dominated. 17 shots to our 5. 2.72 xG to our 0.51. 66% possession. Not good enough in the end from Charlton. Oh, just got to bounce back. Can't let that stat get in our head too much. Bournemouth, one of the favourites for the title. You know, losing to them, no shame in it. We scored two. We had the lead for quite a while. We had a penalty save. We gave our all, but in the end, their quality is just more than ours. And they took advantage of that, and they got the win. And it's a, another disappointing result this episode. Two defeats. Not what you want to see, but it's against two tough teams. 
uh, in the table. We drop down from the playoffs to 11th. Only three points off the playoffs, though. You know, we can still push on. You know, our aim is to avoid relegation this season. We're, we're still doing amazing. We're still achieving that. I'm still quite happy with how things are going. Uh, but I think that will be it for today's episode. Next episode, looking at the schedule. Uh, oh, we might be back very, very soon. Because uh, I think we'll come back for this Carabao Cup fourth round tie against Blackburn. Hopefully get the win there. Move to the quarterfinals once again. And we'll also do the game against Portsmouth. Portsmouth in ninth. Promoted with us last season. They finished second. We finished first. They are predicted to finish 15th. So they're predicted to do better than us. Uh, but hopefully we can get the win there. And keep things going a little bit. But that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode disappointing results but still some good performances from the lads if you have enjoyed and you're enjoying the series as a whole then please like the video and subscribe to the channel for updates on this series go maybe go check out my other fm22 series i've got going on at the moment like cobham supremacy with chelsea youth academy challenge really uh, uh but other than that i want to say thank you for watching